Me becomes very, very strenuous. And I don't blame anybody uh, my age for not being as active as they should be, which is what our roles are in our school. We're trying to act as like electrons and get everybody buzzing and excited with us to go do those things. Mm -hmm. it is, it's a challenge. It, it's, it's a, a huge challenge. challenge. Well, there's a lot for you to vote for. Mm -hmm. And of we're course. trying to leave you America, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't know who you sit with, right? Yes. For 22 years, I've fished people out of cages and saved them from prisons. And I've saved people maybe 2,000 years of their lives. And I'd ask that you just get out there and vote, all yeah. right? Yeah. Go make a difference. And right. understand this in terms of a movement. We can't leave you good drug policy if we let kids use drugs. We can't do it. How can we leave you a good legacy of responsible marijuana laws if we have all these people who are endorsing children using drugs? So I understand about your friends getting thrown out of school, but as a parent, and there's probably a bunch of us here, we don't want our kids using drugs. Yeah. You're not yeah. kids, though, is the other thing. You're students, but you're a man. You're like almost 30 years old, right? So there's a dichotomy between 18. the younger realm, the 18-year-old, right? and cool. you guys, right? But get out there and vote. I mean, get out there and vote for us, right? Get out there and vote for the people who, you know, you would like to save. Get out there and find something to vote for. I'll give you an example. Next year in New York, there's going to be a referendum on the ballot, I think it's the only one, asking you if you would like there to be a constitutional convention. Correct. Anymore, right? 20 years. If you check the box yes and you have all your college friends do it, we can have a convention in New York. And then we can put into the Constitution an amendment about cannabis. Yep. But if you're not voting, we can't do it. And you don't have to go to Albany no. to do that no. at all. No. I think that like the three of us here at least were vote. I'm a registered. Yeah. Yes. I'm all, we're I think all we're, I think Like I'm on the same page as you, but I was trying to like throw out there like what other Look, people Look, we might need your voice a lot. Yeah. And all your yeah. friends' voices we need, but they need to believe that it's worth talking. Uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just want to say that like these guys are doing their job in like like educating people. That's what they do. They educate people on how to like how harm reduction works and like how to responsibly use drugs and how to stay in the education system or out if you don't want to be in the education system. They're not there to make our peers vote. They're there to educate and like doubt. their loved yes. ones. Yeah, and sure. 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 Like, I don't I don't want to put the well, all the Someone someone should be making the kids vote. Right, you know? so then give us something to vote all for. Of you should well, be voting for show us how it well, works. SSTP works really hard on uh, next November. registering voters yeah. for yeah. the upcoming Massachusetts ballot. Yes, no. So we yeah. want people, obviously we want young people SSCP to vote. SSCP is actually got a hand in the number of initiatives going on in the upcoming November. Yeah. So in terms of galvanization, okay. we're about that. Yeah, know? we had a huge voter, yeah, we had a huge voter registration drive. In. Well, it was like a hundred, it was a couple hundred people. Over, over 300. That, that, we, that we got registered to vote. For the yes for yes on four. Yeah. So in terms of galvanization, it's just, it's, in terms of us in a, in a more political sense, it's difficult, like you said, because youth, the youth don't feel like they have anything to vote for. If you see what happened with, in terms of what Bernie Sanders, they, of course, you don't want to come up because they don't, they, they didn't get they didn't get they didn't get buried. Exactly. So exactly. the whole thing is yeah. people in terms yeah, yeah. of galvanization are going forward. We have the momentum, but having something to perceive up beyond the um, horizon that's that's something we can run towards. But t telling us you know e evil A or evil B that's exactly. not really a choice. But the, to, but inter but determine but to determine that we aren't being politically aligned or politically uh, going forward that's that's not true. But but that's, but what SSTP has been trying to do for the last over the last couple of years have been trying to change the perspective of how we approach drug policy. Not only just from legalization, but a uh, awareness approach. So I do agree, like you said, about, uh, about, parents, uh, about parents being worried, but at the same time, kids are, kid, like you just said, kids will be kids. Kids are going to make mistakes. Kids are, yeah. when, when kids get away from home, they're just going to be oh, like, Oh, well, look, I agree with no, this yeah. as dad. There's so a difference a, between yeah. your child making a mistake yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and you endorsing that yeah, they should be yeah. yeah. well, 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 they're not endorsing, they're not endorsing that young people yeah. use yeah, drugs. Yeah, just like, yeah, yeah. Just, See, the number one solution is, like, I ask you guys a question. We have to be, like, responsible. Like, kids are going to use them either way, and... Okay, can I let's refocus. I want to make a point about voting is that, yeah, absolutely everyone should be voting. Um, the, the problem is that we've been told that, the, the, the problem is that we see voting as the be all end all solution and that's simply not true. <coughs> yeah. voting, voting in itself, we should all be doing it, but we, yes. shouldn't, we shouldn't just stop at voting. Yes. What, we, what we need to be doing is lobbying, we need to be talking to politicians, we need to be talking to 
different organizations that are that have the same goals and interests in mind as us. We need to, you know, we need to be doing all these things. And the problem, I think, the problem is that, stu you know, young people, students today, they know where they stand on all these issues. There, there's broad consensus on, you know, just something about about drug policy. We all want decriminalization. We all want legalization, maybe of different things, but. We all know that we want that, but the problem is that young people, young people don't know how to get what they want, and so yeah. they don't. Young people don't know all these different ways to get engaged in the political process. I didn't know all these things two years ago, when I was a sophomore at NYU, before I had ever heard about SSDP. I didn't know what else I could do besides vote. Now that I've been doing this for over a year now, I know how much other Back end stuff goes into this, you know, policy reform. You have to build yes. coalitions with yes. different organizations. Yes. You have to, you know, you have to constantly be educating people. You have to be putting your face and your message out there. You need to be building a network and connecting with people that have a certain amount of power and influence. Mm -hmm. And you, you don't do that simply by voting. You should absolutely vote, 100 percent. But don't stop at the voting booth. Yes. That's yes. Yes. Um, so we're going to wrap it up. Any, any more questions? Yeah, I have a, I have a question. Absolutely. Um, I had a question, and also just this may be a quick statement. As a 22-year-old person, to answer the question somebody's asked before, why a lot of young people don't vote, so they simply don't trust the government. See, I, I have friends who are just as many friends who are 22 than who are 60. My girlfriend's 41. I'm 22 years old. And I can tell you, I've sat down with billionaires, and I've sat down with really broke people who sell drugs in their house. And what I found is that a lot of them don't trust the government because it's just literally this repeated pattern that they see that they're Again, people being lobbied and other things. So that, I just want to make that statement. So my question to you guys is, in terms of actually creating this change, obviously there's a combination of political and social things. Are you guys familiar with the system that Portugal has used with their drug policy? Yeah. yeah. Do you guys feel that, that that a system, either maybe not necessarily exactly like that, but some of that, that that may be the solution? Because to be honest, I mean, the, the illegalization of any drug I think is ridiculous, or any item, whether it be a gun, a drug, a book, doesn't work because it can't control a person's behavior. It goes into the black market, it becomes a currency for criminals, and we have a, literally a, a giant war that's costing us billions of dollars, leading to millions of people being slaughtered regularly. Is that, do you guys feel that's a potential solution? Like, what are you guys working towards? Is this something like that, maybe? Or yes. That's what I want to, okay, great. How can I help you guys make that happen? Like, is, okay. Potential-wise, financial-wise, what do you guys need right now? I'll, yeah. I'll give you my card. What are the card. top three things? Yeah. We, can, we, should, we should talk. We'll talk. Okay. Yeah. Later. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm angry. As a young person, I'm angry. Right? Like, I, we need a dish. Any, any, any more questions? Any more questions? It must happen. All right, so I want to I want to thank you guys for all coming out and hearing these young people speak, and um, definitely keep a lookout for what SSDP has in the next few months in terms of <coughs> policy change, and policy initiatives, and drug policy reform. Thank you again. Your yeah. <laughs>